you cannot talk about. You are doing God's work. How in the hell are you doing God's work when you have a church in the ghetto? You are expecting poor mothers and grandmothers in the ghetto to donate to your church. And then you take this money that comes to you from poor black women in the ghetto. And you don't use none of that money to rebuild the ghetto. You don't use none of that money to employ our children. You don't use none of your Jesus money. You are not using Jesus's money to serve Jesus's children. You are buying homes in white neighborhoods. You buying airplanes. You going on fancy vacations. You Negroes are driving Mercedes Benzes, Cadillac trucks, BMWs. You are wearing $5,000 suits, $2,500 suits, $1,000 suits. You wearing $100,000 watches. I'm not saying anybody should be robbed. I am not saying anybody should be robbed. I'm saying if you are bold enough, if you are bold enough to walk into a black ghetto, claim you are about the community. If you are bold enough to walk into a black ghetto and claim you are about the community, drive an expensive luxury car, wear luxury clothes, luxury watch, luxury shoes. And you claim to be doing the Lord's work and we don't see the community benefiting at all. We don't see the community benefiting at all. We don't see the black community benefiting at all from the money that the black church takes from the ghetto. I hate to say it. We are in an economic crisis. We are in an economic crisis. And these young black brothers in our cities are sick and tired of watching the pastor live high up on the hall. While he struggles. Black churches, please get you some security. 